Hey everyone. Well, this isn't how I wanted to start this video, but uh, I'm feeling like crap this morning. I don't know why. Um, I've already gotten a little sick. I uh, I don't think it's a flu or anything like that. I don't know why this is doing this. Julie says it may be because uh, I ate too much sugar this morning. And I did take my sugar this morning, but it was shortly after I ate, so it, it was going to be high anyway. Uh, the number was 205, which is not a good number. But again, I I had just eaten. So um, I'm hoping that uh, I feel better later on today. We were supposed to go to, or we are still supposed to go to, um, a Mother's Day luncheon, dinner, whatever you want to call it, um, at my brother and sister-in-law's house. Um, so hopefully I'm feeling better enough to go to that. And later on, we were supposed to go to um, a concert tonight um, by the Grand Rapids Symphony honoring uh, John Williams. And all his, uh, the music that he's written for movies and stuff like that. So, um, hopefully I'm feeling better enough to do some of these things. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll let you know later on. Hi everybody, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a few hours since I recorded a little bit. I feel a lot better. Um, I had Julie make me a poached egg seeing see if that would uh, stay down I don't know what in the world was going on Julie still thinks it's a, it was a sugar thing which I, do. I don't I don't doubt it but uh, yeah it's just crazy I'm smart <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way right now to a uh, Mother's Day gathering it's supposed to be a cookout but it's kind of crappy uh -oh. and uh, but, uh, and I'm not, I don't think I can uh, record there. There's at least a couple people there that are, are, uh, yeah, they're a little camera phobic or, uh, social phobic. Yeah, social phobic. They don't want Meaning, it out on social media. Yeah, social media. So, we'll get back with you. Hey, if that's a thing, put a link at the bottom because I'd like to read about it because if that's an actual thing, I'm sure it's a diagnosis, but I'd like to know about okay. it. But we'll we'll uh, we'll see you in a bit after we're done and back home. Well, we're off to the concert to listen to the John Williams uh, inspired music from movies. Um, for those who don't know who John Williams is, he uh, conducts and writes uh, soundtracks for movies. To give you an example of some of the work he's done. Um, he has done eight out of the ten Star Wars movies that have been uh, put out in theaters. He's done E.T., he's done the original Superman movies with Christopher Reeve. He's done the Indiana Jones movies. I think he's done a few of the uh, the first few Harry Potter movies. Uh, Jaws, you name it. He's done a gazillion movies. And... Uh, I mean, the man is like 80 years old, and he's already, he's still working. Um, right now, he's making the soundtrack, or maybe he's done already, I don't know. But uh, for episode 9 of Star Wars, that's coming out next next year, December. So, this is going to be, I mean, I'm a huge movie buff. Julie's a huge movie buff. Um, but I like everything about movies like I said but I've never been to the symphony she's never been to the symphony now I don't know I'm gonna try to take you guys in with us I don't know if I can I don't know because we're not on like the the orchestra floor we're on the in the mezzanine which is just below the balcony so um, we'll see. and we're not we're not right in the front we're kind of four or five rows back so I don't know if you'll be able to see anything, if I can even try to record anything, um, 
hopefully, and I'm, I'm not promising anything, I'm gonna try to make this video really, really short, not like the other ones where they were half hour long and so forth when I've taken you guys somewhere. So, but uh, this will give you a chance to see just a little bit of, of Grand Rapids culture, I guess, if you wanna call that, because it is the Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids Symphony that will be playing. Um, I haven't been there since I was in elementary school. So, a hundred things could change, you know, since then. And like Julie said, she's never been to the symphony, so um, this will be all new to her. So, we'll see you uh, in a little bit. Try to get you in. Well, it looks like I won't be able to get you guys in after all. They got us pinned with rules again. But uh, after this show, uh, we'll uh, give you our review of what took place. So we'll see you after the show. Okay, everybody, it's the next day. And uh, Julie and I had an awesome time. Uh, if you ever get a chance to go to the, the symphony here in GR or wherever you guys are at it, it, it is uh, it's very awesome um, so but what what happened is we came home last night and uh, we uh, well I should I should say I did I noticed that the bottom of my closet was wet and I don't see this wall here is an exterior wall this wall here behind my clothes and everything are uh it, it leads out to a common area of getting in inside of our apartment so i didn't know why this was wet unless water was seeping in somehow from this way because the ground like right here is the bottom of the window the ground is just below this point so we're somewhat underground and uh i didn't know why but then julie had an idea of what could have happened and uh, she opened this door and as you can see it's leaking water and it actually I don't know if you can see it it's going up the drywall so this I believe is the main feed into the apartment complex and water is seeping up well, I don't know if it's seeping up or dripping down, but uh, water is coming into the apartment this way. So we have to call maintenance and tell them that we have we have a uh, a leak in the apartment complex. So we're about to uh, give maintenance a call and tell them, hey, you got to get over here and fix the problem. I don't know how long it's going to take them to do it. I'm pretty sure they're going to have to shut the water off to the whole complex to do it, to fix it. Day. Yeah, today's our, our wash day, so it's going to kind of suck. So um, I'm going to sign off and let you guys uh, have a good weekend. Have a great Mother's Day to those who uh, are mothers. So see you next time.